Today you're going to learn CSS in just 5 minutes with me. We'll be creating this super simple car, styling it with CSS and all of this of course with the knowledge you will gain. Hey friends, I'm Steven and here to help you land your first software developer job. In this video let's quickly learn the basics of CSS. Ok, now before we go any further, let's see what is CSS. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets and it is used to style your web content. In other words, you could say that it is used to style your HTML elements. So the next thing to know is where to write our CSS code. As you can see here, I've added some examples and the first way could be in a style attribute. So as we can see here on the P tag, I have added this style attribute and I'm changing the color of this text to blue. The same goes for this other way, just adding a style tag within the head tag and targeting our element. The other way we could do it is just by creating a new index CSS file, you could add it with any name and linking its path just here. So here we can see the P tag with its property and its property value. And if we save this and we open our server, we'll see that this is blue. CSS has its own syntax and as we can see here, this is the anatomy of a CSS rule set. So this is the whole declaration. We have the div element here, which is what we are targeting, which is the selector. We have a property, which is the background here and a property value, which is black, which is more or less the same that we have added here. Just remember to add these curly braces as well. There are many ways we can target an element and for that we have CSS selectors. So we can target elements by element, by ID, by class, attribute or pseudo class. So if we come here and let's just quickly remove this from here and we add an ID to this, um, to this P tag, we could call it def. And we come back to our index.css and instead of targeting by element, let's target it by ID and let's add the color as we had it before, just uh, blue. And we can also just change its font size to something bigger, maybe 20 pixels. And if we save this, we'll see how it changes. In CSS, there's a concept that is very important to know, and that's the box model. So basically every HTML element has content. It could have a padding, a border, and a margin. Also by default, the width and height of an HTML element is the sum of the border plus the padding plus the content. So basically what we're saying here is that if we set the width to 200 pixel here, this is going to be only the content. But if we want to solve this problem, we can use box sizing and set it to border box. Now here, the width of the element is going to be effectively 200 pixels as we see here. There are three main ways to style your layouts with CSS. And the first one is just the normal flow, which is what comes by default in your browser. So block elements like div and p tag, they will take all the available space horizontally and they will stack on top of each other. Then we have inline elements like the span and image tag, and they will be just one right after the other on the same row. If you want to style a component just giving it a property of block, you could do it as well. There are other ways to style your layouts, which is flexbox and grid. And for you to use this, you will have to use here flex or set these here to grid, but I won't cover them all here as this is something more advanced. Okay, enough of theory for now and let's go and finally build our card. First of all, let's just remove what we have on our CSS file. Let's go back to our HTML and I'm just gonna copy and paste from my other screen the structure we need for this card and save it. Let's actually see what is being rendered. So we have some sort of card here and we want to style it. So first of all, what we want to do is just to add this kind of background here. So let's go to our index and let's target the container, the container class. And for this, we are going to add the background color and this would be this blackish gray color I just added there. We want to add some sort of width, so maybe 380 pixels. Also, let's add some padding, 30 pixels. Let's change also the color of the text as it was white and if we save it it is looking just like that right now something we want to check is just the width of the element so if we come to the developer tools and target this we can see it's 440 pixels so add here the box sizing property to border box and if we check again uh, there we are 380 pixels another thing we want to do is just to align the element the text element to center so we could just do this here 
and align it to the center. And maybe we also want to change just the font size of the description because it's too small. So let's put here font size, maybe 20 pixels. And there we are. If we want to change the alignment, we can just use text align to the left. Now to add the border radius, we can uh, maybe four pixels for the car and let's add four pixels for the, for the image, sorry, for the image as well. So let's actually target the image tag and add it here. So there we are. Well friends, congrats, you have learned the basics of CSS today. If you want to get all the material with the explanation I've used for this video, just sign up to my newsletter, I have the link on the description of this video, and I'll send it to you, plus other goodies I'll be sending monthly. I'll also leave in the description the link to this project on my GitHub account, in case you want to check the code there. If you like this video and it has possibly helped you on learning the basics of CSS, definitely support this channel by liking, subscribing, and leaving me a comment. See you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.